welcome back to Sexified Skyrim Special Edition Helgen Reborn. So, I'm Rook. This lovely girl is nasty, and that other lovely girl right there, she's also a little bit nasty, but her name's Sophia, and that's Narita, and that's Aurora. And the, these lovely girls are going to do all of our fighting for us, for the most part. I mean, uh, Nasty is not afraid. She's not like an orc that's afraid of fighting. She's, but, you know, they're better than she is, and they're quicker on the draw. So she, she lets them do most of the fighting. Uh, but here's the deal. That's Marcus Janus there in the corner. And we're going to talk with Marcus because we just, we talked with bandits and they happen to know him and he knows them and they're, they're all friends and stuff. So let's talk to this guy. Oh, hello. Need something? Yeah, I talked to Val. He agreed to meet with you. Excellent. Well done, my friend. I'm ready to go. But there's just one thing. I'm getting too old for fighting. Well, at least by myself, that is. I was hoping that it wouldn't be too much of a burden on you to escort me to the keep. There's another 250 gold in it for you, if you will. Another 250? Heck yeah. Um, yeah, so cool. Stick close and let's go. I'm right behind you, but don't go too fast. Unlike you young ones, I'm not cut out for this shite anymore. Okay, fair enough. We'll, we'll not try and outpace him, but... Cool thing is, we are um, we do keep pace with our companions, which is a very very good thing, in in Bethesda games if you can do that, and so we are going to do that. And look, oh look, see, look here, this right here is. Need something? Uh, no, actually, I don't. But this is another one of those girls, that she's a flower girl, All right, then. and we could do naughty things with her, but she also offers other. I th would assume vampiric services because, you know, why else would she wear that mask, that red mask over her face? Because I'll tell you why, you, you know. Bread it, seems to be very popular, don't you think? It's all people ever seem to eat. Oh, uh, who cares, Sophia? But, uh, yeah, no, I was just saying that, uh, yeah, they, you wear a red mask if you've got blood dripping out of your face you know if you if you have a mouthful of blood um and you don't want the dribbles to show on a mask then you'd wear a red mask right and okay we, we don't have to surmise too much about it but it seems pretty obvious to me that that girl's a vampire and but we're not going to let her suck our blood or uh, pretty much any parts of us um at this point maybe later who, who knows you know we're not opposed to some pleasant friendly sucking but that's not on the agenda for right now right now we're going to be heading back up the way not the way we came we're a different way than we came and it's a lovely day and i'm going to pull out my um you bad apples spoiled a bunch you, you know how it is yeah okay everybody is with us and does marcus have what kind of sword has he got i can't really see it. He, he's got a glass sword i want that glass sword those, I love glass swords. Okay, but we're not going to worry about it. We're not going to steal this weapon from him either. We're just going to go. Maybe he'll maybe he'll gift it to us or something. But I want to find birds. Oh, damn, damn, I missed that bird. Crap. These birds, they, they make the best stuff. All right, so this has all been cleared, and we're good to go as long as we don't run into the boulders here. Nothing bad should happen to us. Although there is a tendency to be bears and stuff on this road. Oh, and my girls are bumping into rocks. Come on, girls. It's everybody. What, where, where is everybody? Where did Sophia go? I saw her for a second there, and then she just vanished. Oh, good lord. Dude, Sophia. It freaks me out whenever she does that. She's got amazing teleportation powers. And, okay, th that's not a bear. But it's an elk, and we, we would kill it, but they're fast. And I don't know that I'll be able to catch up to it. But honestly, I'd rather get birds than elks, frankly. I, I do need the, the leather, you know. Elk hide is great, but we need um, we need birds more than, than beasts at this point. But, you know, why would I pass up the opportunity, right? Oh, oh, don't burn the horse. That would probably piss off a hunter or something. Let's get this guy. Come on, get uh, slowed down by the ice, and we just 
finish it with fire. Great, we got the stuff. Okay, is the horse okay? The horse is okay. Nobody's attacking the horse. Alright, so we'll get back up here to what we got two-handed. Who is even using a two-handed weapon? None of my companions even have two-handed weapons. Why did I get a two-handed synergy bump? I, that, hi, Sophia. Uh, yeah. Weird. Well, you know, we're getting skill-ups without even trying, so I, I guess I shouldn't look down on that. But we here we are. We're almost back to Helgen. If I could just find some freaking birds. Maybe I'll go bird hunting on my own time or something. All right. Well, we're here we are. At back at Helgen Keep. And everybody's safe and sound, right? Is Marcus still with us? Marcus? There you are. Good. All right. So this... Yeah, that's still broken down. We can't... We got to get over there, but I can't get through that way. And then there's... The, oh, man. This is where they tried to chop my head off. Um, and we're not going to forget that for any time soon. But we're, we'll steal the gold off of that burnt corpse. And we can get through here, right? We can just go... Oh, look at the birds flying in here. Damn it! I want those birds. But we can't have them. Alright. We're not going to pay any attention. Oh, God. Ah, stupid bird. Oh, and there's Aster's corpse. Don't look, Aurora. Don't look. That's if you didn't see the last video. That's Aurora's dead father laying there, and we didn't bother to bury him or anything. Hi, Sienna. Why don't you talk to me? You'll talk to me soon enough. She's so cute. I like her, and she's got a very, very good. Uh, that's one thing, guys. Uh, you know, let's break the fourth wall for a second. This mod, I really, really admire the mod author Mike Hancho. He has done such a tremendous job, and he's engaged some really good voice actors and and stuff. So I, I'm, I love this mod so much, the the uh, Helgen Reborn. But look. Here we are at Helgen Keep. And I think what we'll do is I'll... Hilarious Tiberius Octoria, you old dog. Come here, my friend. Let us have a look at you. Marcus, why have you come here? Valerius, I'm sure this is quite a shock to you and terribly unexpected. I came here to check on my family. But it appears none of them survived. Then I realized you were here, so I decided it was in both our interests for two old friends to meet again. At last. Ah, oh, your brother, yes. Marcus, I'm very sorry. But whatever the circumstances, it does my eyes good to see you again after all these years. Yes. Same here, old friend. Same here. So, the Keepers of Hatu in Skyrim. Who would have ever dreamed of such a time? All right, Janice, what is it you really want? Don't forget, I know you, so out with it. Yes, you do know me, old friend, better than most. Very well. I aim to rebuild this town. I do love causing and make her my home. Once rebuild? I started singing at the top Janice, of my voice, I have voice, no intention of helping you or anyone else rebuild shouting. the town. Shh. I'm here on then I reply, other business. Sophia. Do you look dragonborn or like one yes, of those yes, creepy old guys who live on the mountain talks to you? what I propose is true. <laughs> Perhaps we can be mutually beneficial to one another. All I'm asking is that you hear me out. After that, if we're not in agreement, we can part ways and you'll likely never see me again. But Valerius, there's plenty of time to get to all that later. Right now, let's just catch up on old times. Well, you're in luck, Janice. Those bandits left some fresh wine downstairs, and I need a drink. Yes, I could use a drink too, old friend. Let me say goodbye to my new friend, and I'll join you. I can't thank you enough for your help. As agreed, here is your compensation. Uh, thank you, but you never mentioned rebuilding Helgen until now. Why? I mean, we missed part of the conversation because freaking Sophia won't shut up. And we're going to fix her <laughs> in that regard. But, uh, yeah, thanks. And wh what about Helgen thing? I apologize for that. I certainly wasn't intentionally keeping anything from you. I just wanted to meet with Valerius before I brought it up. 
but yes, I want to make Helgen my home. But she certainly has seen better days, that's for sure. You know, I grew up just across the border in Cyrodiil. I did know that. And Helgen was always a place my family visited when I was a boy. I have many fond memories of those days. And now, with my brother and his family gone, let's just say he'd be happy that I settled here. And from what I could tell as we came in, it'll be a lot of work cleaning everything up. But nothing impossible. Then we can take a look at what's left of these buildings and begin rebuilding from there. I'm sure there'll be plenty of work for you if you're interested. Why don't you take a day and think about it? That'll give Valerius and I some time to catch up and come up with a plan. Can you return to see us in a day or so? Okay, yeah, I will see you later. Thank you once again, friend. I'll see you then. Now then, Marcus, let's go get that wine. You're in one piece, so I trust your trip went smoothly. Yes, fortunately it was without incident. Of course, I had Patsy to protect me. <laughs> ah, yes, dear Patsy. Uh, there's not a more loyal man in all of Tamriel. And I'm pleased the road was kind to you. Well, okay, we'll leave those guys to their conversation. We don't need to eavesdrop on them. Uh, but we now have our mission so to uh, help them fix form? up Helgen, but we gotta let them do their talk first, and what, where are they? They're, they're still in earshot. Uh, and you, you, Sophia, you need to stop talking so much, so we're gonna just do this. Uh, here, how do we do it? Um, I forget. Oh, it's like this. Mod configuration. Sophia follower. Settings, and instead of commenting every hour, uh, why don't you just <coughs> every 24 hours? That will be fine for us. And thank you so much, Sophia. Great. That will stop her from making idle chatter in the middle of these conversations that we're trying to pay attention to, at least mostly. Um, all right, good. But now the next phase. Here's the ding. Guys, we uh, obviously we've got to wait. And Sophia, just you don't have to be on my butt constantly. Um, we do need to go find uh, here. Let's look at our journal real quick. And here's the thing. Uh, so we're going to give these guys some time, and that's fine. But there's also you sold us tough lesson. We need to seek out the Khajiit Madron in the merchant caravans. Now, um, there, I'm not sure where he's going to be, but we can go ahead and head over to. I'm thinking, I'm thinking if we go, hey, world map, let's go back to Whiterun uh, Stables, and let's look at the Merchant Caravan there. Uh, they, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that the, um, the Merchant Caravans that Madron frequents are, oh, I probably could have just checked the map and find out where he is. In fact, that's a good idea. Uh, but, look, there's Khajiit over here. At least there's tents. Let's see. Are there Khajiit? There are Khajiit. And the warm sand of elsewhere is yeah. far away from here. You're not, none of you are Madron, right? I think Madron Do you frequents believe all this talk of the... Okay. Rasad? Welcome. If I cannot serve you, I am sure that one of my other traders can do so. Okay. Um, yeah, other traders. I think Madron hangs out up north. He does the the route that services uh, Solitude and, like, Dawnstar. So let's take a quick look here at our map and see. We've got him marked. Aha, there. Okay, he's by Solitude right now. So... If we take a caravan, or not a caravan, but a, uh, a carriage up there, we might be able to uh, to catch up with him. Unless he takes off. Uh, man, he's probably going to take off by the time we get there. But we're going to talk to this guy anyway, and we're going we're gonna to hire his carriage. Where do you want to go? To Solitude, please. Climb and back, and we'll be off. All right, I'll do that. You ready to go yet? No, I'm not ready. I You just now sold me the ride and I haven't even had a chance to walk to the back. 
Good God, this guy's so impatient. Let's get in here and go. First time to solitude? Yeah, it is my first time. And girls, you run. I'll ride. Right. Okay, so we'll at least now we'll get up to solitude for the first time. We're opening up a lot more of the world for us to travel. And that'll be good. But we're... I don't think we're going to hang out in solitude too much. There's a couple things I do want to check here, though, because, hey, you know, I install stuff and then forget everything that I've installed. Uh, but we're just going to check and see if the merchant caravan is up here. Do we have Khajiit still in this area? Yes, look, look, look. All right, this is good. Is this Madron, though? Khajiit welcomes you. And also your coin. Oh, she's she's a sexy little kitty, and that's uh, Majad. Karjit is just and, a guard and has nowhere else to sell. Oh, okay, you're just a guard. That's fine. How but you, hmm? you are not just a guard. You're a Madron, and we're gonna talk with Madron. I welcome you, friend. How may I serve you? I've come to discuss Yasolda of White Run with you. Ah, have you? I think she may be in love with one of the Khajiit in the caravan. What? I thought she was in love with Mikhail. Well, whatever. We're going to go with it. It is Madran who she loves. Oh, yes. And why would you be looking for me? Hmm? I am not sure I appreciate your presence here, friend. <laughs> yeah, he says friend as though we're not really friends. And we are not yet, So, but we'll see how things turn out. I come first to ask if Madran does return this love... You sold the feels for him. An astute question. In truth, I do not, for I miss my home greatly. It is only memory of home that will bring a smile to this one's eyes and peace to his heart in this cold land. Not only that, but these Nords have no love for us. They look upon us and see only thieves and smugglers. Should not Yasolda's heart also be free to find peace in home as well? Man, why am I talking like a Jikajit? Hmm. I had not thought of it that way. Was it your plan for her to be alone, pleasuring herself with a mammoth tusk? Uh, no. Uh, that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> Do you even care enough about her to free her from this ruse of your love? I wish I could say that I did not, but I have little choice. Besides, who would ever want to harm such beauty? Then I come to bargain. Only your aid can turn your Yusolda's heart to a new home. Indeed, that would be best. I hope you'll agree that these dark deeds are best left forgotten. Very well. Fortune smiles upon this meeting. The wise trader finds the best opportunities. And she's a ripe opportunity indeed, no? If you want her soon, if it entices, fetch for me some of my merchandise. Then I will show you how. A black errand in exchange for the keys to a young woman's heart? Just bring it back to me, and we'll see what kind of deal we can make. It is all in this note. May you walk on warm sands. Right. Okay. So, we found Madron, and that is great. In the past, I have had a heck of a time tracking this guy down. But we got him, and now we've got a note. And I'll, well, you know, let's just get out of his eyesight here, and then we'll, we'll look at this note. Uh, oh, and... Here, let's learn some stuff. Um, okay, where's the note, though? I'm not... Why am I not seeing? Got a letter to Carlotta. We can read that. Oh, oh, here we go. Letter from Ulag to Madron about Yasolda. Madron... I already have a business deal in place with your thrall, Yasolda. I don't know what the game is between you two, but it's my neck on the line. I'll get your cut, but after this, I'm done with the both of you. It's just too goddamn complicated, 
and I like to keep it simple. Ulag. Okay, Ulag. That sounds like an orc name. And but now we know uh, there's uh, Isolde is uh, okay. Sophia, <laughs> where you know it's got to be chilly out here, right? It's but she's in her underwear again. So well, that's that. So now we got to track down a shipment of some merchandise for Madron in order for him to give us clues on how to get in good with Yasolda. And we will do that, but I think we will wait and do that next time. For now, uh, we've got some time that we've got to wait for Marcus. So we're going to, I think I'm going to pass some time, do some exploring and stuff, and then we're going to go into solitude, check it out. Uh, but we've got all that. And we'll do that. Uh, real soon here, guys. But for now, if you're enjoying this, please smash that look at these girls here. Who? Hi there. This, this bodyguard. Oh, there's so many pretty girls in Skyrim. And I like it that way. But yeah, if you're enjoying this, please smash the like button. Leave me any comments, tips, tricks, recommendations, or death threats. Subscribe, share, and favorite if you would. And we will talk with all of you again very, very soon. <laughs>